Then let him bring to your attention all the things that you'd prefer not to see, all the silent cries that you'd prefer not to hear. This is the way in to the next circle of prayer. In the fourth circle, you'll encounter suffering. As you move deeper into prayer, more is required of you. You've realized your need of silence and space. You've begun to see more deeply. Now you come to a darker place. Most real suffering is hidden, lonely and silent. You need imagination to recognize hidden suffering. Few who really suffer have the power to speak their pain. Some can't find the words. Others know that words are no use. And some just long for someone to listen to them. Hello, Irene. Hello. But not everyone is able to ask. It's sometimes only in the dark, at night alone, that you're able to feel the great sea of human pain that surround us and within us. Most of the time, there's not enough silence and darkness for us to hear the cries of those who suffer. We know that the world overflows with pain and need, but this knowledge stays in our heads. Words anesthetize us against feeling. It's hard to make the leap of feeling which might challenge our own security. And uh, has the Ethiopian government given... contribute to the sea of human pain. All of us feel our own pain more keenly than anyone else's. And somewhere, someone is always paying the price for our self-centeredness. Other people's problems are never as important as our own. How do we take this suffering into our prayer? How do we take it into our lives? Next time you pray, soak yourself in silence and space. Ask God to open the eyes of your mind to see clearly. Then try to open yourself consciously to the truth of silent suffering. Behind the statistics of suffering are rejected human faces. Ask God to show you how you have blocked your heart. Ask him to show you your own hidden prejudices. The young people haven't got something better to do than hang around here all day. Yeah. Have you got me woman's own? Uh, yeah, don't you? Whatever your prejudices are, they block you from hearing the cries of others. It makes you turn people who are different from you into strangers and enemies. Ask God to show you your own hidden rationalizations, which stop you recognizing the needs of others. Ask God to show you the secret fear and contempt that you feel for those who are different. Oh, there we are. Not that they can't work, they won't. How much is that? Uh, Forty-six people. Oh, I don't think I've got Ask to God to open your heart to the stranger. Not only the stranger who's nearby, but the stranger who's far away. Don't be afraid of the stranger's stare. Try, in your prayer, to reach out to him. Imagine what it must be like to be hungry, alone, or afraid. 
In the stranger's face, in the stranger's unspoken cry, God is asking you to give him more.